Hello and welcome. Mr. Bob of Bob's Pet Stop in-home dog behavior training. Today's lesson, how to teach your dog how to sit. My dear friend Sassy and I are here to help teach you the marker training system of how to sit your dog. It's not based upon focus training as much as teaching the dog to learn how to listen to commands. The first part of our lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to teach your dog by allowing the dog to learn the word sit. I'm not that interested in having the dog sit without being formally taught so I'm going to be doing all Sassy's thinking when I teach her how to sit today. So I'll say the word sit, I'll physically and gently sit her down and then I'll mark that right action the moment that it occurs. And as we progress, you can watch how I stretch further and further away. It's very easy to teach your dog how to sit. Some important ingredients to teaching your dog how to sit is to remember, one, make sure that there's no distractions when you're teaching the dog in the learning phase, which means about 25 to 50 repetitions. I like practicing this exercise in my home before I take it out on my driveway, my backyard, and in the neighborhood. I also don't like to control my dog by giving the dog a command to sit because if the dog breaks and I can't follow through, then the sit command has no value. As much as I love the idea of being happy and motivated, I think if the dog could have less words and more accurate understanding of the word itself, then they'll respond better when they hear the command. Let's just take a moment to walk you through some of the real simple techniques of teaching your dog how to sit in a very simple and easy way. So before I take Sassy out on the road, let's first take a real quick look at a demonstration that I'll be teaching my dog training students how to teach the dogs how to sit through these sequences of four steps. I'll be using the gentle leader collars as well as flat collars. We'll also be using training treats and praise and a quick demonstration what it should look like when your dog knows how to do it without the leash. First what I'll do is I'll have the student bring the dog out.